people who are sitting at home who've never had a science class in their life say that vaccines are toxic because they don't know what they don't know. Do you know who knows what they don't know? Healthcare people who've trained for years about this. I'm a board certified pediatrician. My background is in child development, a four year degree. I was getting my PhD in special education four years before I surprised my wife with my desire to become a medical doctor. That added seven more years. And then just for fun, I have a two year degree in uh, master's in business administration. So 17 years. Medical doctors don't have a lot of training in vaccines. Um, uh, we don't have a lot of training in and anything in detail unless you become a specialist. They are actually remarkably astute in terms of what they don't know if you find a good healthcare practitioner. We know what we know and we know what we don't know. We were just taught that they help prevent disease. Now I went to Dartmouth back in the early 80s and all I recall being taught about vaccines was that they were miraculous. Uh, we eradicated smallpox, polio, and follow the CDC schedule. Our training is to uh, believe, do, say whatever it is that the CDC or the American Academy of Pediatrics is instructing us to say. If we do not do that, then we're, we're considered uh, uh, outcast. Unfortunately, physicians are afraid because organized medicine has been misled, and I think it's really because there's been misleading data from the CDC, has been misled into thinking that vaccinations are uniformly a good thing, when what you and I have just been discussing is they are not uniformly a good thing. They can cause serious harm, and people should be free to choose whether they want to be vaccinated or not. But, you know, I'll bring you a flu okay. shot next time. We're going to forcibly uh, give you totally one. Totally out of time. The less you know about something, in other words, the less your training is, the less your cognitive ability around a certain subject, the more fooled you are into thinking you know a lot about it. Medical schools that don't teach vaccinations, I mean, that's, when I actually give the two, two vaccine lectures to our, to University of Pennsylvania medical students, and, and, and I had asked to do that at the time, no one did it. The nursing schools in Suffolk County and Nassau County made that part of their school curriculum. And I got phone calls and, and emails from nursing students who said, we didn't even know what a vaccine was until we saw that video. There's no evidence that it causes autism or these things that the anti-vax people are talking about. You can never really say MMR doesn't cause autism. We must hold tight to our doubt, our ability and knowledge that we're fallible as individuals and as a profession, knowing that humility is a strength, not a weakness. I was a vaccinating doctor because I was taught nothing about vaccines because I had never met an unvaccinated child. But once I met unvaccinated children and started seeing problems firsthand with vaccinations in my own patients and started doing my own research, I flipped around 180 degrees. And I've known other doctors that are able to do that as well. And some of them, because parents like you have presented the facts to them, quietly, calmly, and rationally. That's key. When we come across someone who fears vaccines, we won't get very far by laughing, mocking, accusing, but we might get somewhere, bit by bit, with some thoughtful communication and some empathy and compassion. We want to listen to our patients. We want to hear their hopes, dreams, and fears. We want to partner with them, but we want to do it from a place of knowledge and compassion. You're so dumb, you don't realize how dumb you are. I don't want to talk to you. All right. All right. I mean, I, th I just think if you have the truth on your side, you'd be up, to, up for just having a conversation. Out. All right. Get out of here. Get the f*** out of here. Back home, huh?